never tell us how they were going to do it exactly. Um, one of the flight attendants told her husband that they were boiling water, that they were going to throw at the terrorists. Um, one of the young women on the phone with her stepmother says, I have to go. We're all running up to first class. We're getting ready to break into the car. But as to what they thought they might do afterward, it was just all about we're going to stop these guys. And then the cockpit voice recorder, the black box that they were covered here, 25 feet down in this bar, records the sounds of the struggle. And you hear English speaking voices recording. They're saying, go, go into the cockpit. If we don't go now, we're done. Get them. Let's get them. Pull it up. I'm injured. And you hear the voices of these terrorists translated. They're saying, What's going on back here? It's a fight. They're fighting. They want to get in here. Hold the door. Hold it from the inside. Hold it. You hear them say, show them the axe. They have this on the wall in the cockpit a fire axe for emergencies. And one of them says to the other, show them we have this. That, that, that would intimidate them. Um, the terrorists flying the plane begins to rock the wings from side to side. Authorities think that was their attempt to frighten oh, these people, yeah. make them make them quit fighting back, knock them down. But we know from this cockpit voice recording that this struggle continues right until the final word. We hear them say the final words in English. No. The final words in Arabic. These hijackers speaking to each other. One says, "Do we do it now? No. Wait till they're all here." Then moments he says again do we do it now yes pull it down and put it in and with that plane rolled over whether by out of control or purposeful we don't know and it drove into the ground here in 